A typical Dunedinite is a person who's usually reasonably humble, gets on, does his job, and doesn't complain too much about his lot. Talks too much about the weather, though. If I had a visitor from Auckland, I would certainly take him to Lani's castle. Oh, Mr. Lani, yes, he was a very, very interesting man indeed. The ghost really doesn't bother people too much. I think she just gets a bit lonely. We have 80 of Scotland's 94 distilleries represented here. I'm not sure why we don't have the other 14. It must have been something one of the clans said to the owner's ancestors that didn't go down so well. I love the character of some of the old skippers around here, lines on their face and seeing the big seas of the Southern Oceans and strong, quiet type for me. They're the good characters of Dunedin. A schoolboy told me once he thought albatross looked a lot like big seagulls, but our converted fishing boat looked pretty cool. The thing about Dunedin is it's very laid back. You've got plenty of time to do things, plenty of open spaces, it's just got its own features. The number of bacon buddies we sell on a sad day is generally proportional to how busy the bars and restaurants have been the night before. <laughs> I think Dunedin's different because it's not trying to be any other city. People have a pretty relaxed opinion of themselves, they can take a joke. It's just a good place to hang out. I love Dunedin for the ease and the relaxed pace. There's a really good creative underground music scene, art scene. So there may be those that don't get the jam style, but those that do love it. Did I mention I also serve a very good breakfast? 